We begin in Abuja, where the presidential election petition court on Tuesday ordered the consolidation of the petitions of the Labour Party, the Allied People's Movement, and the People's Democratic Party. Presiding Justice of the five-member panel, Justice Haruna Tamani, said that the consolidation is aimed at speedy hearing of the petitions which appear similar. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Aira reports. All five political parties had initially registered their grievances against the declaration of Bola Tsunubu as the winner of the presidential election. The Action Alliance and the Action People's Party had, as the opening of the pre trial withdrew their petitions. The three remaining petitioners anchored their petitions on grounds such as irregularities, substantial non-compliance, as well as corrupt practices upon which they are asking the court to set aside the declaration of Bola Tsunubu as the winner of the election. The APM is urging the court to hold that the placeholder introduced by the president-elect in respect to his vice president's nominee was unknown to law and as such, the court should void the participation of the APC. Both the Labour Party and the PDP are faulting INEX return of Bola Tsunubu because he did not score 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory. Today, the court presented its pre-hearing report. The court has given three weeks to the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obin to prove their case. To ensure a speeding hearing of the Labour Party's petition, there will be no oral examination of witnesses, as what will be required is the adoption of witness statement. The pre-hearing report of the People's Democratic Party was read by Justice Stephen Ada and that of the Allied People's Movement by Justice Misutura Bolaji Yusuf. Both parties had the same resolution as that of the Labour Party. The PDP was given three weeks to prove its case, while the APM was given one day. They are yet to give us all the documents we require. I continue to ask, why is INEC behaving in this way and manner? What are they hiding? People are asking, what about uh, 29th? What happens? We want to assure people that swearing in is a ceremony that does not in any way tie the hands of the court. The taking of oath binds the person who took the oath. It doesn't bind the court. Parties in the various petitions have agreed to call expert witnesses. They also told the court that they will be relying on interpreters for interpretation of certain languages to English, and also they will not object to documents duly certified by INEC. The court had gone to 30th of May for proper hearing. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.